This is definitely my biggest accomplishment yet. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Autumn. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have never been so happy in my life because tomorrow I am graduating from college. I am a multimedia journalism major. I did four years of college and I have my Bachelor of Science in Multimedia Journalism. So it's so crazy. It's been such a long journey. I absolutely love my school at Grand Valley State University. It's an amazing school, great professors. It's been such a good four years and I'm so happy and so excited to be done, but I'm also really sad too because my friends are leaving, but I am so excited for this vlog. So in today's vlog, I'm going to be getting ready for graduation and showing you all of that. So I first have already done my tan. You can see I'm way more tan than I usually am. I'm usually super pale. And then the next step that I'm going to do is my makeup. So I'm just going to take you along my journey today. All right, guys. So I just finished my makeup. This is the end result something simple and super cute. And now we're just gonna go to the salon and get my hair done. So this is the salon that I go to in Battle Creek. This is where I'm gonna get my hair done. So excited, let's go. So I just came out of the salon. My hair is so long. It feels like I have ropes on. <laughs> um, she just put in my extensions and they are looking so good. And I dyed my roots and it's super, super blonde. This is probably as blonde as I've ever been. But yeah, I will show you more of it later. Now I am on to get my nails done and I think my mom is gonna do those. Um, I ran out of time because the hair took so long um, at the salon, but I'm happy it took long because it looks beautiful. But um, so I think my mom's just gonna paint my nails. But yeah, so on to the nails. So I am back, my hair is done, got my tan, and my mom just did my nails, this really pretty silver color, and mom say hi. Hi, I got blue. She's Grand got Valley. blue for Grand Valley nails, and now we're just in the car, and we are on our way to the campus to get some graduation photos, so here we go.
So I am back. We just got done with our photo session. It went really good. It was kind of cold outside, but it was sunshiny, no rain, so no complaints there. We got some good shots. But next we are just going to go to dinner, and then after that, tomorrow is my graduation. Hey guys, I'm back, and it is the end of the day. We had an amazing dinner. We just went to Main Street Pub. It was delicious. I had a California chicken flatbread. So good. I'm so tired right now and I'm about to go to bed. And tomorrow is graduation. And so I'm just gonna get a good night's rest and get up and take you on my journey. Tomorrow is the big day. I cannot believe it. Four years of college is finally done without my friends and my family and my support and my husband. I definitely could not have done this. So I'm so thankful to all the people in my life. So many emotions right now, um, but tomorrow is the big day. So I'm really looking forward to it. Howdy. Hi, sweetie. Good morning, guys. It is graduation day. I am so ready to graduate. I am just gonna get ready today and spend some time with my family, but it is a beautiful, sunshiny day. I'll show you guys. It's to be 70 degrees, beautiful for graduation. And there's Allie. She's just chilling out on the porch, enjoying the weather. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys some decorations my husband put up, he's so sweet. He put up some of these across the ceiling and then also my parents helped decorate some they got this really cool class of 2021 and then coming over here my husband put up this i thought these were so cute and they look really good with the lights and then he also got a beach ball <laughs> this is probably my favorite thing he got so we'll be hitting that around. And then he got this cute banner. I love it. And then coming down here, this class of 2021 sign. And my parents surprised me and got some balloons. I thought that was so cute. I came home the other day and he had the place decorated. So I For my look today, I'm thinking about doing something simple, some neutrals with a little bit of shimmer. Um, I think that would look really good with our graduation stuff. So I'm just going to use my Tartlet Bloom palette again. This is my favorite go-to palette. It's got beautiful neutrals. This is the end result of my makeup. I think it turned out really good. So these are the eyes. And then I just chose a soft red lipstick to top it off. But yep, this is the overall makeup look. And I'm just gonna touch my hair up today. It's still got some loose waves from yesterday and then get dressed. So something I did wanna mention is graduation is a little bit different this year as you probably assume because of COVID and my heart goes out to those 2020 graduates that didn't get a ceremony. You should be so proud of yourself and all your accomplishments. I'm thankful because this year they are allowing an in-person ceremony so I definitely decided to take that opportunity. You have a choice. You can either do it 
online. They are hosting an online ceremony and they also have an in-person one. So the online ceremony was yesterday and the in-person is today and you are only allowed four guests and it worked out perfectly because I'm going to have my mom, dad, my husband Joshua and my brother Cameron. So it's really good that they can come in there with me and they get to see the graduation. Um, in terms of the graduation, it looks a little bit different this year. They are having, so there's no audience, but you get to go in and you get to walk across the stage and um, after four years of college, that's something I'm really glad about that I can just be able to walk across the stage. So it's not the same, but I'm still excited because I am walking. And you wear your mask into the ceremony place and they're just having it at the field house at GVSU. And so you wear your mask in and then graduates are allowed to take off their mask as they walk across the stage, which is really nice. So you can get professional photos taken. It's also really nice because your family can get really up close. They have an area where family members can take videos and photos when you walk across the stage. A little bit of a story time, I thought I'd share with you guys why I chose Grand Valley State University. When I was graduating high school, my mom and I went on a tour and I automatically fell in love with the campus. I thought it was so beautiful. I also really liked how everything was close in distance to each other. You could easily walk anywhere on campus and get there very quickly. I also love their library. They have a huge library. It's like six stories and it's very modern and updated and it's a really good place to study. And the other thing that drew me to Grand Valley was I've heard so many good things about the professors and that they're really good working with you one-on-one -on -one. and I didn't want to go to a huge school where I couldn't get that help one-on-one -on -one. so I think that GVSU is really good at that. We have small class sizes and so there's about 30 people max. I've had about 100 people in my class, but for the most part they've been around 30. So the smaller class sizes make it really good to get close with your professor, get to know them, so they can really help. Yeah, so those were some of the things that really drew me to Grand Valley. And then also I had an awesome tour guide that helped me, which funny enough became one of my best friends. And her name was Hannah Peterson, now Kaniki. I love her so much. And we actually became roommates my freshman year of college because we were on the tour and we connected so well and we were both like, man, we should live together. And then we were like, oh, maybe we could live together. She was a little bit older than me. She was two years older, so we had to check with the school. Another thing, Grand Valley is really good at accommodating to your needs. And so they approved the request and we were able to live with each other. I also wanted to tell you guys a little bit about my story, so I told you a little bit how I met Hannah and how we became roommates my freshman year of college. Um, my freshman year of college, I was friends with another person, and through them I met Haley, and we decided that we were all going to sign a lease together to live together the next year, which is my sophomore year. And the one girl I ended up not being very close with, and that's the one that I thought I was going to be closer with, and I ended up being super close with Haley. And I knew it right away when I met her. Her and I just clicked. We vibed. We just connected so easily. We could talk about anything, literally. And so we became literally best friends my sophomore year uh, that we lived together, and we didn't the other girl was kind of gone all the time, so we didn't really become close with her, but through her, she brought us together, so that's something that's really cool. So we lived on campus at Murray my second year of college, and then my second year, I was still working at Panda Express, and I worked there freshman year also, and then I was also working at Subway, so a lot of the on-campus dining, and through Panda Express, I met Lena. So, and then it turns out Lena was friends with Haley. So Haley kind of introduced me again and then we both realized we were like, oh hey, we work together. So then we all just started hanging out and after that, it's history, we became best friends and we all had boyfriends at the time and we are all still with those guys today, which is crazy. And all of us just became one big group of friends and 
they have been there with me through everything we do everything together and then my junior year we decided to move in together so junior year we moved in together and it was me Haley and Lena so we made so many memories in the town home so the summer after junior year I got married and after that I moved in with my husband so I was missing the girls and it was kind of weird not to live with them because I lived with them for a few years and but I'm very happy and living with my husband and they were mad I left but I'm sorry <laughs> but yeah it's been good because they just decided to live in the same town home and so they just re-signed their lease one more year we've been able to just hang out and anytime we want and we went to the dog park the other day the zoo we like to go downtown Grand Rapids and get a bite to eat go to football games when we are able to but it's been great and then a little bit about some of the clubs and things that I've joined at Grand Valley so my freshman year I was on the club tennis team and I loved it I did it for two years freshman and sophomore year and they have really nice courts at GVSU and it's so beautiful because you can see the sunset and we would hit from like 6 to 9 at night and they have the lights on the courts and um, the campus is really close to Grand Haven so you can see the sunset, you know, the beach and everything so that was really fun. I did that for two years and then I decided to focus more on my major and so I stopped doing the club tennis to focus more on my degree and oh I also forgot to mention my sophomore year I joined GVSU's Lantern and that is our school newspaper and so I write for the Laker Life section and that's really fun because I get to cover events on campus and off campus in the Grand Rapids area so I've written for the newspaper for about three years now. Yeah, that is some of my campus involvement and I loved being on the Lanthorn and writing stories every single week and interviewing people. It was fun going out and talking to different people and having them share their story with me. I feel blessed to have had the opportunity. But overall, my experience at GVSU has been amazing, and I am so thankful for everyone and the memories that I have created. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I just got dressed. I put my, I have a white dress on, and so this is what I'm wearing today. The blue. <laughs> she comes around the other side. And Got my cap. This is the cap. It's a little busted up because we took pictures and threw them up yesterday. But this is it. And I got my cards. This is for being on the Lanthorn staff, writing for my school newspaper. <laughs> Here we go. Your daughter's graduating. Any thoughts? Can you uh, unlock the phone? Yeah, debt free. I gotta get that. Debt spot. free! <laughs> your words to me, your sister graduating from college. Can't believe you made it. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations to my daughter. We're so proud of you. Here we go. Yay! Joshy, what do you have to say to your wife? I have to say, I am so proud of you. I can't wait to celebrate this awesome day. Woo! We are on our way, walking to the car, about to head out wait, wait, over to the celebration. Second. In the car now, on the way for the big day. Oh, that kind of rhymed. Oh yeah. There's Josh, my husband. Are you excited? Yeah, so excited. Oh, 
How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Ready to graduate. Four years long though. <laughs> My dinner, I got cheese tortellini, it looks so good. And Dad and Josh ordered this delicious pizza. <laughs>
that is it for my video. I didn't film at the end. I totally forgot. But I had such an amazing graduation. I am so thankful to all my friends and family who have supported me over the years. And I can't wait to look back on this day and have this documented. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!